Have a seat in the street. The pandemic introduced more locations for outdoor dining and the program known as Open Streets. Sections of roads in more than 100 places are open for pedestrians. Some are during certain times of the day. Other streets have been permanently closed to cars. Welcome to Doyer Street in Chinatown and Art Bean Coffee Roasters. Five months on the block along this stretch of open street. All the lights went on, you know, the vibe, the, the look, the feel of it, it just felt really cool and, and perfect for, for the concept. I think they come on doors at first just because of the street, you know, um, but they, they, they come in, they think the shop looks really cool, they have the seating outside. But the open street and outdoor dining programs have opponents who criticize a one-size-fits-all approach. Having a restaurant and a, and a shoe repair shop are way too different experiences underneath your window. Shannon Phipps is with a group that filed suit to block plans for a permanent citywide plan. They want a closer look at the impact. We have a lot of mom and pop uh, businesses here on Berry Street that have struggled from lack of access. Um, they're, they've lost revenue. We find it interesting that there's this flimsy report suddenly saying that it's all good and that profits are up and this is a viable solution for the community. The Department of Transportation held a press conference at the open street and outdoor dining area on Doyers to announce the findings of a study done with an outside consultant. Their numbers show businesses and restaurants did better along five open streets compared to similar corridors without the setup in the same neighborhoods. The numbers showing what we heard over and over from local businesses as we save 100,000 jobs and we saw 12,000 open restaurants. People spoke loud and clear. Now we have data to show when you have outdoor dining on an open street, there's even greater economic activity. More people are out eating, drinking, socializing, creating jobs, creating tax revenue, and essentially activating our streets in a way that give it back to the people.